what is the reason that we need a full bladder for the embryo transfer procedure? Is it because we really like torturing people and we know that we're going to be able to squish that full bladder in between our ultrasound probe and the speculum? No, we're not trying to torture people. There are a few reasons why we want to have a full bladder, and I'm going to talk about those in this video. So there are two main reasons that we need a full bladder for the embryo transfer. One is visualization with the ultrasound machine and how the ultrasound best works. And the other is for technical ease of the procedure itself. And everything or both of these things have to do with your anatomy. So as you may or may not know, in pelvic anatomy, the bladder sits in front of the uterus, which sits in front of the rectum. And so those three things kind of line up like that. So why does the anatomy matter from the ultrasound side of things? So ultrasound can see through fluid a lot better than it can see through tissue. And so you can imagine the probe is on your stomach, so it's going through your skin, your subcutaneous fat layers, your muscle, whatever's happening inside the belly in front of the bladder, and then the bladder, and then what we want to see is the uterus. Now fortunately, the bladder can fill up with fluid, full bladder, and that makes the uterus a lot easier to see. So this image here demonstrate that. You see that big black circle right there is that full bladder. And then underneath it, you can see the uterus. The endometrium is pointed out there and that's where we really need to see for the embryo transfer. 